श्री गुरुप्यो नम हरि श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो थ्री द स्टेटस क्यो चैप्टर एट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ ब्रह्मा फ्रॉम गर्भोदक शाही विष्णु मैत्रेय उवाच सत्सेप नीय पत पूर्वंश यल्लोकपालो भगवत प्रधान भभूपिते हाजित कीर्तिमाला पदे पदे नूतन यीक्ष्ण The great sage Maitreya Muni said to Vidura The royal dynasty of King Puru is worthy to serve the pure devotees because all the descendants of that family are devoted to the personality of Godhead You are also born in that family and it is wonderful that because of your attempt the transcendental pastimes of the lord are becoming newer and newer at every moment soham nrunam shulla sukhaya dukham mahat gatanam piramaya tasya pravartaye bhagavatam puranam Let me now begin speaking on the Bhagavata Purana, which was directly spoken to the great sages by the personality of Godhead, for the benefit of those who are entangled in extreme miseries for the sake of very little pleasure. आसीन मूर्व्यां भगवतमाद्यम संकर्षण देवकुंटसत्पत्सपस्तमत पर कुमार मुख्या मुनोन्पृचन समाइम अगो बीइंग इनक्विसिटिव टू नो सनत कुमार the chief of the boy saints accompanied by other great sages inquired exactly like you about the truths regarding vasudeva the supreme from lord sankarshana who is seated at the bottom of the universe swame badrishnyam bahumanayantham yat vasudeva pitamamananti At that time, Lord Sankarshana was meditating upon His Supreme Lord, whom the learned esteem as Lord Vasudeva. But for the sake of the advancement of the great learned sages. He slightly opened his lotus-like eyes and began to speak. Swardhun yudhar dray svajatha kala phair upas prushantas charano padhanam padmam yadhar chandya hi raja khanya ha saprema na na pali bhir pararta ha. the sages came from the highest planets down to the lower region through the water of the ganges and therefore the hair on their heads was wet they touched the lotus feet of the lord which are worshiped 
with various paraphernalia by the daughters of the serpent king when they desire good husbands mohor grunanta vachasanuragh skhalat padena astya krutani tajnya kirit sahasra mani pravekh The four Kumaras, headed by Sanat Kumara, who all knew the transcendental pastimes of the Lord, glorified the Lord in rhythmic accents with selected words full of affection and love. At that time, Lord Sankarshana, with his thousands of raised hoods, began to radiate an effulgence from the glowing stones on his head proktam kilai tat bhagavat tamen hai nivrutti dharma bi ratayate na sanat kumaraya sachaha prushtaha sankhyaya nayanga druta prathaya Lord Sankarshana thus spoke the purport of Shrimad Bhagavatam to the great sage Sanat Kumara who had already taken the O of renunciation Sanat Kumara also in his turn when inquired of by Sankhyayana Muni explained Shrimad Bhagavatam as he had heard it from Sankarshana सांख्यायन पारमहंस्य मुख्यो विवक्षमानो भगवद्दि भूति जगादसोस्मद्भुरवेन विथाय पराशरायात बृहस्पतेश्च द ग्रेट सेज सांख्यायन वाज द चीफ अमंग्स द ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट्स and when he was describing the glories of the lord in terms of shrimad bhagavatam it so happened that my spiritual master parashara and bruhaspati both heard him probata mahyam sathayalu rukto munipulastena purana madhyam सोहम तपै तत्खतयामि वत्स श्रद्धालवे नित्यमनुव्रताय द ग्रेट सेज पराशरा एज अ फोर मेंशनड बीइंग सो एडवाइज्ड बाय द ग्रेट सेज पुलस्त्या स्पोक अनटू मी द फोर मोस्ट ऑफ द पुराणास भागवतम आई शैल आल्सो डिस्क्राइब दिस बिफोर यू my dear son in terms of my hearing because you are always my faithful follower vudha plutam vishvam idham tadasid yan nitrayami lita drunya milayat ahindra talpe dishayana ekah krutakshana svatma ratau nirihah at that time when the three worlds were submerged in water garbodaka shai vishnu was alone lying on his bedstead the great snake ananta and although he appeared to be in slumber in his own internal potency free from the action of the external energy his eyes were not completely closed ूतूक्ष्मीरायाटानोदारुनिदिवर्यटर्मैंडिन्यूशन submerging all the living entities in their subtle bodies he lay in the self invigorated energy called kala chatur yugha nam cha sahasram apso 
ವಪನ್ ಸ್ವಯೋಧೀರಿತ ಸ್ಪಜತ್ಯ ಕಾಲಾಖ್ಯ ಸಾಧಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ತಂತ್ರೋ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಅಪಿ ತಾನ್ ದೃಶೆ ಸ್ವದೇಹೆ ದ ಲಾಡ್ lay down for a thousand cycles of four yugas in his internal potency and by his external energy he appeared to be sleeping within the water when the living entities were coming out for further development of their fruitive activities actuated by the energy called kala shakti he saw his transcendental body as bluish ಸಟಲ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ was agitated by the material mode of passion and thus the subtle form of creation pierced through his abdomen sapatmakosha sahasoda trishthat khalina karma pratibodanena svarochisha tat salilam vishalam vidyatayan arka ibatma yonihi piercing through this some total form of the fruitive activity of the living entities took the shape of the bud of a lotus flower generated from the personality of vishnu and by his supreme will it illuminated everything like the sun and dried up the vast waters of devastation talloka padmam sauye va vishnu ho ಇಂಟು ದಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರ್ಸನಲಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಗ್ನೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೋಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ the personality of vedic wisdom whom we call the self born was generated tasyam sa chamba ruha karnikayam avastito lokam apashyamanah parikraman vyomni vibhrutta netrash chatvari lebhe nu disham mukhani brahma born out of the lotus flower could not see the world although he was situated in the wall he therefore circumambulated all of space and while moving his eyes in all directions he achieved four heads in terms of the four directions tasmat yughan tashvasana bhagurna ಚಲಾರ್ಮಿ ಚಕ್ರಾತ್ಸಲಿಲಾತ್ಮಾನಿಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಿಚುವೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಲಿನಿಯಂ the air of devastation began to move the water and the lotus in great circular waves kayesha yosa baham apcha prushtha ye tat kuto vapja mananya dhapsu asti yatastat iha kincha naithad adishtitam yatra satanu bhavyam lord brahma in his ignorance contemplated who am i that am situated on the top of this lotus where from has it sprouted there must be something downwards 
and that from which this lotus has grown must be within the water sa ittam udvekshya tatap janala nadi bhir antar jalama vivega narpa katas tat kharanala nala napim vichinvam stada binda thaja lord brahma thus contemplating entered the water through the channel of the stem of the lotus but in spite of entering the stem and going nearer to the navel of vishnu he could not trace out the root tamasya pare viduratma sarkham vichinvato bhutsu maham stri nemihi yo deha bajam bayam irayana ha parikshinatyayu rajasya hetihi o vidura while searching in that way about his existence brahma reached his ultimate time which is the eternal wheel in the hand of vishnu and which generates fear in the mind of the living entity like the fear of death tato nivrutta pratilabdha khamah swadhishtya masadya punassa devah shanairjitashvasa nivrutta chitto nyashida daruda samadhi yoga thereafter being unable to achieve the desired destination he retired from such searching and came back again to the top of the lotus thus controlling all objectives he concentrated his mind on the supreme lord khale na so jap purusha yusha bhi pravrutta yogena viruda bhoda svayam tadhantar hrudaye vabhatham apashyata apashyata janna purvam at the end of brahma's 100 years when his meditation was complete he developed the required knowledge and as a result he could see in his heart the supreme within himself whom he could not see before with the greatest endeavor murunal ghaura yatashesha bhogh paryanka ekam purusham shayanam fanata patra yuta murta ratna dhubirha tatvanta yukanta toye brahma could see that on the water there was a gigantic lotus like white bedstead the body of sheshanaga on which the personality of godhead was lying alone the whole atmosphere was illuminated by the rays of the jewels bedecking the hood of sheshanaga and that illumination dissipated all the darkness of those regions preksham kripantam haritopaladre he sandhya pranibher ururukma murdna ratna dadha raushadi saumanasya vanastra jomenu bujangri pandre the luster of the transcendental body of the lord mocked the beauty of the coral mountain the coral mountain is very beautifully dressed by the evening sky but the yellow dress of the lord mocked its beauty there is gold on the summit of the mountain but the lord's helmet bedecked with jewels mocked it the mountains waterfalls herbs etc with a panorama of flowers seem like garlands but the lord's gigantic body and his hands and legs decorated with jewels pearls tulasi leaves and flower garlands mocked the scene on the mountain aya mato vistaratasvaman hai 
देहेन लोकत्रय संग्रहेण विचित्र दिव्या भरना सुखाश्रियाश्रित मेष देह His transcendental body, unlimited in length and breadth, occupied the three planetary systems: upper, middle, and lower. His body was self-illuminated by unparalleled dress and variegatedness, and was properly ornamented. Thom sam svakhama ya vibhikta mar ghair abhyarcha tam kama dhugan gripadmam. The Lord showed his lotus feet by raising them. His lotus feet are the source of all awards achieved by devotional service, free from material contamination. Such awards are for those. who worship him in pure devotion the splendor of the transcendental rays from his moon like toe nails and finger nails appeared like the petals of a flower mukhe na lokarti harasmithen hai parispurat khundala manditen hai shona itena darabimba bhasa प्रत्यर्हयंतम सुनसेन सुप्रवा ही आल्सो एक्नॉलेज्ड द सर्विस ऑफ द डिवोटीज एंड वैनक्विश्ड देयर डिस्ट्रेस बाय हिज ब्यूटीफुल स्माइल द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ हिज फेस डेकोरेटेड विद इयर रिंग्स वाज सो प्लीजिंग बिकॉज़ इट डाज़ल्ड विद द रेस फ्रॉम हिज लिप्स and the beauty of his nose and eyebrows khadamba khinjal ka pishanga bhasa sa svalankrutam me kalaya nithambe hare na chananta dhane na vatsha shri vatsa bakshastala vallabhe na o oh my dear vidura The Lord's waist was covered with yellow cloth resembling the saffron dust of the kadamba flower and it was encircled by a well decorated belt his chest was decorated with the shrivatsa marking and the necklace of unlimited value parardyakheyu ramani pravekha bharyasta dordanda sahasra shakam यूनिवर्स and as a sandalwood tree is covered with many snakes so the lord's body was also covered by the hoods of ananta chara charau ko bhagavan mahindram ahindra bandum salilopa ghudam kirita sahasra hiranya shungham avirbha pat kaustu baratna gharbam like a great mountain the lord stands as the abode for all moving and non moving living entities he is the friend of the snakes because lord ananta is his friend as a mountain has thousands of golden peaks so the lord was seen with the thousands of golden helmeted hoods of ananta nagha and as a mountain is sometimes filled with jewels so also his transcendental body was fully decorated with valuable jewels as a mountain is sometimes submerged in the ocean water so the lord is sometimes submerged in the water of devastation nibitam amnaya madhubratashriya 
Lord Brahma, thus looking upon the Lord in the shape of a mountain, concluded that he was Hari, the personality of Godhead. He saw that the garland of flowers on his chest glorified him with Vedic wisdom in sweet songs and looked very beautiful. He was protected by the Sudarshana wheel for fighting and even the sun, moon, air, fire, etc. could not have access to him. When Lord Brahma, the maker of the universal destination, thus saw the Lord, he simultaneously glanced over creation. Lord Brahma saw the lake in Lord Vishnu's navel and the lotus flower as well as the devastating water, the drying air and the sky. All became visible to him. Sakarma bijam rajaso paraktaha prajasis rukshan iadheva drushpa astaut visarga bimukastami dhyam Lord Brahma, thus being surcharged with the mode of passion, became inclined to create and after seeing the five causes of creation indicated by the personality of Godhead, he began to offer his respectful prayers on the path of the creative mentality. Hari Om Tat Sat 